So, welcome to LibreOffice Conference 2021. I'm really honored and it's a great pleasure to introduce this uh, conference this year. Um, unfortunately, it is still online, but uh, and not, not in person, but uh, as we were saying before, we hope to be able to have an in-person meeting next year. Let's hope so. And uh, in the meanwhile, I just wish you all to enjoy this conference, even if online. I can't say good morning because <laughs> worldwide <laughs> it's not morning <laughs> everywhere. So, by the way, um, the very first session is the opening session. And uh, I see all the speakers are connected and online. So uh, it's my, again, a pleasure to hand over to Italo Vignoli, who is uh, going to introduce the uh, LibreOffice Conference 2021. Thank you. Uh, morning uh, or uh, have a nice day uh, everyone uh, welcome to the LibreOffice conference uh, uh, hopefully your language is in uh, is in this slide uh, welcome everyone for three days uh, with a, a lot of uh, uh, presentation uh, first uh, thanks to conference sponsors uh, Collabora and Allotropia, uh, who are the two uh, main sponsors. Linux Professional Institute, uh, we will uh, announce later uh, um, the, the starting of a collaboration with Linux Professional Institute about certification. And then Omnis Cloud and Carbone IO, uh, who are also uh, sponsoring the event. Um, thanks to them, uh, although it's a virtual event, uh, it is important to be backed by companies in any case. Uh, about the schedule, a few housekeeping uh, uh, information. About the schedule, uh, you, you can uh, find uh, the schedule at at those links at that link uh, uh, you can download the, the mobile application for android uh, to find uh, the links uh, you can go to our blog uh, during the last uh, couple of days uh, we have published uh, uh, post uh, about the conference you can fi find uh, uh, the links uh, active links there uh, in terms of streaming uh, um, we are streaming on YouTube and a conference website. The links uh, are provided, uh, YouTube links are provided just before the starting of the conference. Uh, please check them regularly uh, at, and at least once a day uh, as they might change. Uh, G the current Jitsi version does not work. The, this is for macOS users, does not work with Safari. So if you have a Mac, you should use Firefox and Chrome. Uh, we have also dis discussion channels. Uh, uh, those, uh, the, the room channels are supposed to uh, ask uh, questions and comment uh, the presentations. Uh, then we have a main chat and we have a, a broadcast channel for the conference. The broadcast channel is only on Telegram, while uh, the discussion channels are on Matrix, RC, on Libera Chat, and Telegram. And now, um, switching to uh, the information, uh, a couple of numbers. Uh, there will be a session about the uh, state of the project with more numbers tomorrow. Uh, these. Uh, is based on uh, this uh, slide is from Statista, is based on uh, analyst number. Uh, we are in 2021, as you see, uh, our office suite market is uh, just uh, uh, over $25 billion. The estimate is that it will reach uh, uh, over $31 billion by 2025. It is, uh, this shows that it is a, a dynamic market. The growth is not huge, uh, but is solid. And in any case, uh, uh, $30 billion uh, is a quite significant uh, uh, figure. Uh, 
Uh, this slide is uh, um, is from September to 2017 from uh, a spice work uh, report, uh, but analyst number are uh, more or less unchanged since then. As you can see, uh, open source productivity suite have uh, around 16 percent of um, market share. Of course, the number are higher than 100 because uh, uh, several users uh, are using more than uh, than one software. Uh, but what is important in is that uh, uh, the open source uh, have a, a quite an uh, a sizable market share. And based on recent discussion uh, with uh, Microsoft people, uh they have told uh, and this of course is not official but is just verbal that libreoffice is uh, uh, the most uh, requested open source uh, application from windows 10 uh, uh, users so this uh, gives a good idea and a good uh, perception of our positioning and now uh, let's talk about the uh, project and the community uh, we had a last year we had a, a rather large discussion about the uh, how the the project is uh, structured managed how is sustained so we have a big community and the community there are volunteers and there are ecosystem companies uh, everyone i would say that we are all important uh, ecosystem companies are important because they uh, allow libreoffice uh, to be in uh, uh, in the uh, enterprise world volunteers are important because they and and of course by by providing ecosystem companies by providing feature to the enterprise world uh, also um, provide features to LibreOffice because their, their development is uh, integrated into the uh, master uh, source code. Volunteers are extremely important because uh, uh, they uh, are uh, the, uh, the active community uh, of people uh, contributing to LibreOffice. Uh, we have a large number of volunteers contributing to localizations. Uh, uh, LibreOffice is the software that is localized in more languages worldwide, uh, 119 available languages. We have uh, volunteers contributing to documentation and uh, documentation at the moment is following closely the announcement we already have uh, a couple of uh, 7.2 uh, guides available just one or two months after the announcement uh, and there are there is a large number of volunteers contributing to uh, the user interface to graphic uh, and doing marketing uh, doing advocacy at, lo at local level uh, volunteers are key for the project and uh, these are the numbers of the community uh, based on our dashboard so everyone can check this uh, these numbers over the last five years as you uh, the the uh, the blue bars are casual contributors, the purple uh, bar are the uh, regular contributors, and the, I would say, red, uh, reddish bars are the core contributors. As you can see, uh, although there are seasonal uh, variations, our community is rather stable. Uh, we have a number of uh, regular and core contributors. We have a number of casual contributors uh, that in some cases become uh, regular or core, in some cases do not, but this is what is it at op with open source software. Uh, some numbers to add that, uh, based on data uh, from Git, uh, um, ecosystem company sponsored developers provide 68 percent of activity on the source code and volunteers 28 percent this is just 
quantity is not quality, of course. The, the quality is outstanding for all contribution. Based on donation numbers, 90% are from individuals and 10% from uh, small and medium businesses. This means that we don't have donations from uh, large enterprise users. Uh, and uh, based on the data that we have, uh, only less than 5% of all LibreOffice enterprise users, and uh, it looks like there are quite many, are contributing back to the project and uh, to contribute they could donate they could buy product or services from ecosystem companies and certified professionals this uh, does not happen uh, as frequently as it should uh, and uh, uh, this is one of the issue uh, that we are facing uh, and uh, we are trying to overcome with actions in the marketing uh, in the marketing plan again uh, uh, it, these actions will be explained during uh, tomorrow session so who pays for libreoffice development 68% uh, is paid by customers of ecosystem companies these are enterprise customers uh, uh, but they are not as many as uh, they should be uh, uh, we know that there are uh, banks and governments and uh, other large institutions worldwide or an organization worldwide using LibreOffice. Uh, we do not expect all of them uh, to uh, to pay for some development, for to pay for some activities, but we expect some of them doing this. 28% uh, of development is provided by volunteers and and paid by by their own time uh, this is uh, absolutely uh, key uh, here i mentioned just the ux uh, localization and documentation but as i said uh, there are volunteers active in uh, many other areas which are uh, as key as these uh, three areas uh, so this is just a hint of the uh, data that will be shared tomorrow. And now it's my pleasure to uh, call uh, Lothar Becker, the chairman of the Document Foundation, for the opening address of the conference. Yeah, thank you, Italo. Let me switch on quickly the camera. I hope you can hear me and uh, see me. Thanks to Italo, dear participants of our LibreOffice conference uh, this year. My name is uh, Lothar Becker, and as chairman of the Document Foundation, it is a real pleasure for me to warmly welcome you all wherever you are participating in this conference. The most of you know that we normally do our conference as an in-person meeting, but as we all discover another year of the worldwide pandemic, we decided once more to have an online version of the conference this year again after the one last year. I think we all miss hardly the opportunity to meet each other in person. Even if the possibility of the video conferencing are widely established now in the meantime, perhaps with this establishment even more. Because also with all the possibilities of virtual meetings, it is my impression that a personal handshake with another participant, a private talk about know-how or experience with LibreOffice, or a spontaneous round of people about any common topic which arise during the conference, or just a beer or a Coke with an old good friend in our community, is missed very hard. Beside the missing of all these in-person, even local community activities, it was also hard, for example, for the board to have no opportunity in the whole term to meet in person. And to be honest, not every interpersonal effect could be covered by it, but I think the annual report of the year 2020, our jubilee year, 
showed a variety of activities and contributions, and as Italo showed in the numbers, which filled the year instead of personal meetings. And nevertheless, it shows that it was one of the most successful year for the foundation. And with that in the last year, so also the organizers of this conference hardly worked again on all possibilities to have opportunities for joining virtually here. Here and in all talks, and I want to encourage you not just to participate in the talks within a great and packed schedule, but also to use the different opportunities to communicate with each other beside of the talks. There are possibilities via chats, via launches, or asking questions during and after the talks to get in contact. So for this, let me thank the Orga team here, which is working for months to bring this on stage within all these circumstances. Sorry for not mentioning all of you with names, which I probably do not know all. So thanks to all of you for your passion to have this conference nevertheless online again. The team have also made some great videos of the main sponsors. And there is a separate opportunity to meet them in private rooms for getting in contact. By the way, also from my side, let me say a huge thank you to our sponsors this year, who made it possible again to join in this setting for the conference. Thank you to Collabora. Thank you to Allotropia. Thank you to Linux Professional Institute. And thank you, Omnis Cloud. And thanks to Carbon.io. Please visit their websites and get in contact with them for more information on the products and services or even for open job opportunities. But let's also see the good side of such an online event. We have around 200 pre-registrated participants from all over the world, even from time zones where the sessions now are held during the night. The amount of participants is probably the highest we ever have with our LibreOffice conference. And this is a good sign. A good sign that we, as an international community, survive this really hard time of the pandemic. And it will be a great basis for having in-person meetings again whenever this will be possible and wherever we will do it. But all online? No, as we will, as a well-known saying of uh, a tale, Asterix and Obelix, there's a little resistant group of well-known community members who are meeting in person in Hamburg, the place where our roots of our beloved software were made. So best greetings to all participants in Hamburg. I tried also to come to Hamburg, but out of private reasons, I was not able to join. So I hope you enjoy also in Hamburg, the conference and the personal meetup in Hamburg as well. Have a great time, all of you at the conference. Thanks for taking part. And now let the show begin. See you in the different sessions, in the different rooms. Come together, have fun, be proactive, and contribute. You all will rock it. Thanks, and back to Italo. OK. Thank you. Uh, and uh, uh, I, uh, I have the last announcement of the opening session uh, the opening session uh, it's uh, uh, um, we promised to have logos for the libreoffice technology and the libreoffice ecosystem as part of our uh, marketing plan uh, and now you can see both of them the author is the same is elisa de castro guerra uh i think uh, she uh, she she made a, a couple of proposals and other people made proposals and of course uh, we thank you 
we thank all of them uh, for uh, for investing their time in developing uh, these logos but i think uh, the that elisa was able to uh, really uh, summarize the concept uh, uh, in in one image uh, using uh, the libreoffice uh, icon and uh, using it uh, to represent the concept of technology which is uh, uh, unique uh, to LibreOffice is the tight integration of the LibreOffice engine in every LibreOffice uh, uh, flavor. Uh, so we have uh, the same engine in on the desktop, on the cloud, mobile, and different platforms. And uh, the fact that we have. Uh, 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 an ecosystem of equals, which are represented here by the 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 the, the different the, the no, a number of uh, LibreOffice logos, but each one with its own characteristic, as uh, uh, underlined by the different color of uh, uh, the triangle. Uh, again, uh, thank you to all the uh, people that have contributed to this uh, to this logo contest uh, thank you to elisa uh, she i i i, uh, I sent a, a message to elisa 10 minutes before starting the session because we really wanted to have this as a surprise to everyone uh, we will work uh, during next week uh, to uh, produce the different uh, version of the logo which are necessary uh, to 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 use the logo and uh, uh, we will announce it with a blog post where we also uh, will explain how to use the logo and where to use the logo and of course uh, uh, everyone in the in uh, in the community is invited to use the libreoffice technology logo uh, while the LibreOffice ecosystem logo will be uh, more uh, for uh, uh, the uh, ecosystem companies, uh, so um, companies that add value to uh, LibreOffice uh, by providing uh, uh, value-added services on top of it, but trainers, migrators, developers, uh, support uh, uh, organizations, uh, and uh, there are quite many that can will be able and invited to use this logo and uh, uh, so thank you again uh, uh, everyone for uh, uh, listening to this uh, to this uh, starting uh, opening session 